Hello everyone. Today let us learn what is a golden rectangle. In my previous videos we have learned what is a golden ratio and how it is related to Fibonacci sequence. Right? In ancient Greece, artists and architects believed that there was a particular rectangular shape that looked very pleasing to the eye. For rectangles of this shape, the ratio of the long side to the shorter side, that means A plus B is to A, is roughly equal to 1.615 is to 1. This ratio is very close to what is known as golden ratio. Now let us see what are the conditions for a rectangle to be a golden rectangle. Now let us take a square of side A and attach a rectangle with one side same as A and the, let the other side be B. Now if the total length A plus B divided by A is same as A by B which is the length of longer side by smaller one which is equal to 5 that is nothing but 1.618. Now, this, when this happens in a rectangle, we call this as a golden rectangle. Okay. Now, the, the famous Greek temple at Parthenon, which was built according to golden ratio in the 5th century BC itself. Even the Taj Mahal in India is also an example of architecture for golden ratio. All the famous buildings are said to be built according to this golden ratio. Now, let us see some interesting golden rectangles which can be constructed in within the single golden rectangle. Now, let us take a rectangle and divide this into a square of side A and a rectangle of sides B and A. Now, if we remove this square, the rectangle we left with is also a golden rectangle with sides B and A. Now, let us divide this rectangle with square of side B and a rectangle of sides C and B again. Now, if we remove this square of side B, we are again left with another golden rectangle of sides B and C. Again, divide this rectangle into square of sides C each and a rectangle of C and D. Okay. Now, then again remove this square of side C. Now, next you will be left with another golden rectangle. Again, divide this rectangle into square of side D each and another rectangle of dimensions D and E. Now again remove this square of side D and we are left with one more golden rectangle of sides D and E. Right? Now not only by removing the squares like this, we can also construct golden rectangles by adding the squares to the rectangles of sides which is larger in the rectangle. In the rectangle whichever is the longer side, you construct attach one square to that like this. Again now this is the longer side, attach one more square. Whichever is the longer side of this rectangle, attach one more square to that. Again, this is the longer side, attach one more square. So like this, you can go on constructing the golden rectangles, any number of infinite rectangles. Thank you.